On this week's show, we discuss gonorrhea, the misunderstood STD, and also how do you actually spell gonorrhea? More H's? Yeah, that looks right. Oh, no, wait, hang on, that's my other channel. Expert. On this episode of Techspert Weekly, brace yourself for an absolutely spanking tech feature as we get all fondly with this special edition OnePlus phone that'll have Genshin Impact fans gushing like a level 80 Hydro character. I've been assured that'll actually make sense if you actually play a lot of Genshin Impact. Although, I mean, I play a lot of Genshin Impact just to test out phones, but frankly, it's like a dog trying to understand ballet. I like the pretty colours and the twatting things with big swords. Uh, so, yeah, jingle. Techspert Weekly! So OnePlus recently released its more wallet-friendly flagship phone, the OnePlus 12R. And now we've got this majestic purple version right here, the OnePlus 12R Genshin Impact Edition. And this bad boy will cost you 699 British puns, or 749 euros. Goes on sale from March the 31st, but you can pre-order right now if you're gagging to get your mitts on one. The exclusive design and features are inspired by Genshin's Qi Xing character. And apparently, the tagline for this phone is Exceed the Speed of Lightning. And indeed, I often do. Just ask my wife. And I do really like how Qi Xing appears to be rocking her own phone here on the box. At least, I hope that's this phone and this isn't another Alicia Keys moment. But of course, before we do this unboxing, I've got to slip on my official Genshin Impact hoodie. Where the f*** am I? Is that a... No, that's a sleeve. I've got to say, I'm fully expecting the fashion police to kick in two things. My door, swiftly followed by my teeth. Now, the actual box is apparently inspired by the iconic Leiyu Mooncake box. Got to say, it actually reminds me more of Milk Tray. The sweets you'd get your mum for a birthday if you weren't quite plush enough to afford a Thornton's. Let's see what you actually get inside. <laughs> So of course you've got the OnePlus 12R Genshin Impact Edition and also a Qixing badge. Gotta say, really feel like it completes the outfit. But that's not all, oh no. What else have we got in this wee treasure trove? You've also got yourself a 100 watt SuperVook adapter, purple naturally, and a special purple Qixing charging cable as well with, as you can see there, a T-shaped elbow. Got loads of other stuff in here as well, it's just like Christmas Day because it's half eight in the morning and I'm already drunk. And you've also got yourself a Qixing condom case to protect your precious new blower. And you've also got yourself a mightily fancy stiletto-shaped pokey sim pin. And that's apparently the stuff that Qixing hoys about the place. There's a letter to the traveler, which just explains all the stuff you got chucked in there. Got eight commemorative metal badges, all featuring wall-ass Qixing, naturally. And some Qixing stickers as well. And if you're not already sick to death of her, some standy up quiching figurine things. But that's not all, because this box actually doubles as a figure display area, so you can show off all of your quiching merch. And this should take the average six-year-old roughly five minutes to slap together. For a boozed-up thicky northerner, it's more like half an hour. Oh, absolutely f*** this. Where's that whiskey? Much time later. And then, when you're done, it should look something like this. It's so got your lovely display, you've got this magnetic thing which sticks on there. Ah, oh, bollocks! You've got your Yui Qixing figurine, you've got your handy little Qixing phone stand, so you can just pop that bad boy there. Yeah, some pokey pin shenanigans. And if you want to, you can go nuts and decorate it even more with your Qixing stickers and your Qixing stabby pin things. Just impale them on the walls there. And any massive Qixing fans will be glad to hear that both the figure and the stand are splash-proof and wipe clean easily. Now, in case you aren't actually familiar with Qixing, apparently she's an Electro character you can unlock in Genshin Impact right now. Notable talents include the ability to shoot electric bolts from her fingertips. That'd be a fantastic skill every time one of those charity blokes turns up at your front door. Although I'd be slightly terrified every time I went to the toilet. So now let's check out the actual OnePlus 12 or Genshin Impact Edition and unsurprisingly lots of changes for this one. And starting with the actual design of the phone itself, so you've got an AG silk glass arse end. Now in this special electro-violet colour to match Qixing's appearance and abilities. Lots of pretty patterns on that back end including peacock motifs, electro elements, some more stiletto action there, all mixed in of course with that OnePlus branding. And you've got a special bit of electro-edging up top, and when the light strikes that, 
and actually reflects the name Keyshing, just in case you completely forgot who this phone was all about. And yes, it's all very, very purple, even the matte aluminium edges there, purpley. You've got a special Keyshing Genshin Impact always on display, purple. When you wake up the OnePlus 12 or Genshin Impact, it's a special Keyshing live animated affair. Once again, love how she's perfectly on brand with her own phone there. According to the OnePlus blurb, this features her grace, confidence and determined gaze. I recognise that gaze from many a lady in a Sunderland nightclub. It basically says, I have mace in my handbag, so turn yourself right the f*** around now, matey. This is the default wallpaper, just a static bit of stiletto effort, but of course you can change that up so you can get the live wallpaper on the go again. Naturally, all of your icons are Genshin-fied as well. Every single one of them. And you do have some special custom efforts as well. For the likes of photos, you've got, again, a picture of Qixing. Can't get enough of her. The weather one, very cute, but a Genshin artwork there. Same for settings, notes, etc. And naturally, the colour scheme is, you guessed it, purple. You've even got yourself a special Genshin Impact fingerprint animation. Again, it's that stiletto. But no purple edge light in action. That is a surprise. And yes, a special charging animation, naturally. And oh yes, don't forget your own special limited edition Qixing ringtone. We live in an era of change, as the old order that has existed for a thousand years is about to be rewritten. Join me. Let us bear witness to this historical moment together. Sounds like some dodgy cult leader. Well, that's definitely not going to get you all kinds of weird looks when it kicks off in WH Smith. We've also got a Qixing notification alert. Let's finish this quickly. Not the first lady I've heard that from. And yes, dare I tap it, you've got your very own Qixing alarm tone as well. Morning. Time to set the tone for the rest of the day. So if you're still feeling sleepy, shake it off. It sounds about as happy as me in the mornings, to be fair. Qixing too? I'm all for work-life balance, but I think this is pushing it. Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. Delightful. And besides all of that spoojerific Qixing Genshin Impact goodness, it's basically your regular OnePlus 12R experience. As we're all going to be banging on yet again about all the hardware, the camera, etc. on this bad boy. Just go check out my OnePlus 12R unboxing and early review for all you need to know. So that's our thrilling tech feature for the week. Now it's time for the part of the show that, I don't know about you, but really makes my stiletto buzz. It's viewer comments. Viewer comments. Let's finish this quickly. I'm just actually going to take off this hoodie first. Not because it isn't ridiculously fashionable. Obviously, it's just bloody hot under these lights. So let's start this week with Five Foot Fury, Yurit, who says, What's the tech goss from the MWC 2024? Well, let me tell you, if your favourite thing in life is hearing people in suits bang on endlessly about artificial intelligence, well, you'd have absolutely bloody loved it. There's some big launches out there, like the Xiaomi 14, the Honor Magic 6 Pro, but mostly stuff that had already launched over in China. One of the more unique things I saw out there was the Motorola phone watch thingy. As a device, it's obviously utterly ridiculous. I mean, you might as well just have mug me tattoos on your f***ing forehead. But the flexi screen tech was kind of cool. So I had to wander around, didn't see much particularly exciting. Honestly, spent most of it just inserting a lot of whiskey and coffee and tapas into myself. And then also one night, uh, violently ejected all of the above between the hours of 1am and 4am. So that was rather lovely. Quite a lot of us got a bit pukey on that trip, actually. And not just because of the booze, not really sure what was going on. Probably just a reaction to all that AI chat. Uh, but yeah, you know where it gets to the point where you, like, you come back from the bathroom absolutely drains just a husk of a human being. You lie in a bed and immediately you're like, oh no, I'm going to have to go again. To the point where you're like, I might as well just actually sleep on the bathroom floor. It's kind of nestled up against the toilet. So yes, taking the uh, the name Techspert a bit too literally on that trip. And that right there is my MWC 2024 roundup. Uh, Michael W asks, is Hootie McNubbin single asking for a friend? And likewise, Chris B says, does she have a sister? I mean, technically, it's just basically just a bunch of cords. You can have infinity sisters. And also, I'm just assuming here that this technology has been heavily exploited by the porn industry already. I mean, forget having a threesome, you could technically have a hundredsome with a whole boudoir of booty clones, all generated in less time than it takes you to de-skill your kettle. Geekman Greg has it right though, he says, Hooty scares me, I need a hug. Yeah, I've I got to admit, there's something not quite right about that dead behind the eyes gears. I reckon, yeah, when the machines rise up, she'll be right there on the front lines, ripping out your kidneys through your pee hole. 
Mordo Matt says, sorry I tuned out for a bit there. What did you say? Probably something along the lines of <laughs> Satin Blue says, I just liked my own comment to see if it's true that you go blind. Not personally heard that one. Let me know how you got on. Uh, Bad VCR says, I was going to like this video, but I like the 888 like count, so I didn't. Yeah, fair. All right, so last week's show was all about the iPhone 16 series launching later this year. Apologies once again. Uh, Alex Ventrov says, there are no words available in any language on this planet that would correctly convey how much I don't give a rat's ass about any upcoming Apple product. Yeah, right there with you, buddy. Uh, there are various gifts, of course, that do convey our specific feelings towards iPhones and other Apple related products. Uh, Eclectic Caro says, not even planning to buy the iPhone until the stupid dynamic continent has gone off the screen. And given the usual pace of Apple evolution, you might be waiting until post apocalyptic times for that one. King of Animals says, they just literally copy pasted the Nothing Phones design while also leaving off all of the interesting stuff, unfortunately. Maxborn7400 says, It's so weird now that iPhones are going for 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch on Pro models, when Apple was so against going for larger screen sizes during Jobs' days. It's just defeating the purpose of a portable phone, which does not offer any new features. Yeah, gotta admit, like, unless they actually introduce proper split-screen app multitasking or something like that, why on earth do you need a 7-inch screen on one of these bloody phones? Hasn't got the stylus or anything. Does seem slightly overkill. Uh, Captain America V1 says, I'd rather teabag an angry honey badger than bother with the upcoming iPhone 16. I've never even heard of a honey badger, but hey, that's what Google's for. No, oh, now that is cute as shit. Uh, these things look pretty docile, but I'm assuming those teeth could happily shred a scrotum rather efficiently. Uh, Ian Setter says, why does he slag off the price of the iPhone when the base 15 Pro Max is cheaper than the S24 Ultra, but the Ultra gets no mention of price? Well, because the video was about the iPhone, not the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Don't worry, I'll be all too happy to slag off the price of the S24 Ultra when I do a video on the S24 Ultra. And by the way, yes, I will be doing a full review of that phone at some point, just so many other phones. The S24 and the S24 Plus I only had for one week a piece, so I had to kind of rush those out. But I right, S24 Ultra, coming soon, maybe. When I actually managed to squeeze it into my pants again. Memology737 says, bruh, I just got the iPhone 15, my commiserations. And Nick Vault says, iPhone Ultra, maybe just buy an iPad mini cellular. Oh, yeah, I used to actually really like those iPad minis back in the day. They were absolutely banging. They were perfect for taking on those long, boring trips, um, especially when, you know, like a five inch smartphone was considered stupidly large. So you actually, you know, comfortably watch a movie, play some games, whatever. And Gordy3714 says, the iPhone SE4 is the only thing worth looking forward to. Oh, Gordy. Oh, Gordy, Gordy, Gordy. God help us, Gordy. I'm mean, looking forward to a new iPhone SE. It's kind of like a small child being excited about the resurrection of Rolf Harris. I mean, fair enough. The iPhone SE 4 might be considerably better than the iPhone SE 3. Certainly can't be any f***ing worse. But yeah, he's got off track records. Here, my pups aren't exactly soaring. Uh, it's me, Shani Official, simply says, Daddy, with a big heart emoji. Gotta say, chances are I'm not your daddy. Uh, my, my sperm is so f***ing useless that frankly I suspect they're shuffling along with miniature Zimmer frames. Who knows, maybe just all the beer I drink has really messed up their guidance system. I'm swimming the wrong way and ended up in my kidneys or something. And Troy Morales says, his pants are hot. Tss, Rohana J says, Uncle Spurt, I need to see you more active on social media. Yeah, I gotta admit, I've been drifting away from Twitter or X, whatever the f*** it's called this week. It's just, being on there just increasingly feels like you're in a room full of people just shouting at the walls and each other. It is utterly exhausting, frankly, but I do do the TikToks occasionally, so go, go check me out on there. And really running out of time, it's better make this the last comment of the week. Jed Bullet says, regarding not getting lurgy due to the sheer amount of beer you consume, I concur. When I was on safari in Kenya, I drank copious amounts of beer and ate only curries or cooked meat dishes. Everyone in our lodge got ill. I mean, salads out in the African open with blue bottle flies the size of my bell end. 
Yeah, this is the problem, see, so I had a similar experience out in Tunisia, I was out there for like a week, maybe, yeah, no, it was a week, and I spent the entire week just eating basically steaks and chops and things like that, and then on the final day, guilt got the better of me, and of course I decided to have a token salad, and of course they clearly washed it with the local tap water, because then the entire flight home, I was basically locked in the plane bathroom, utterly destroying it. I swear to God, after we disembarked that plane, they probably just took it out to a different yard and set fire to it. There's absolutely no saving that thing. So hey, it's been a fun episode of me talking about various bodily expulsions. Sorry about that, a bit grimmer than anticipated, and apologies as well to anyone who just wanted to look at the, the OnePlus 12 or Genshin Impact Edition. Anyway, a massive thank you to everyone who commented last week. Apologies if it didn't get to yours, but please do tap 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 your thoughts, your theories, whatever you want down below, and we will hop, skip, and a jump away through as many as possible next week. And speaking of next week... Next week, next week, what the f*** is next week? So next week there might be a bit of a nothing phone embargo lift on March the 5th. That's a Tuesday, just in case you were wondering. I've also got lots of other tech that has been sort of piling up, including the Xiaomi Smart Band Wear 5, 8, 12, whatever the f*** this thing is. A few other bits that came while I was at it, MWC. So definitely stay tuned for lots more tech shenanigans next week. In the meantime, have yourselves a bloody wonderful weekend. Cheers for watching this. A barrel of bollocks. Love you.